So in this video, we are going to try to solve the problem by using the solitary software. How to draw this uh, drawing by using solitary software. A line capital AB, 80 mm long, has its end A, 20 mm above HP and 30 mm in front of VP. It is inclined at 30 degrees to HP and 45 degrees to VP. Draw the projections of the line and find its apparent lengths and apparent declinations. To do that, first we will go to the AutoCAD screen. Go to Sheet Setup, go to right click, click on Sheet Setup, take it A4 and show background, I don't want, I will say, say OK, go to View, go to Fit. So here you just go to Zoom area and bring it near to the screen and then go to Home, click on Annotation that is the text and you just come down to a line capital AB, 80 mm long. So I will go for the font Times New Roman which we have already explained how to, what is the text size and all those things. So you just take it methodically and we are going to go further about to doing of this problem. Click on for the position of the text. So I will place it here and type 39. So a line capital AB, a line capital AB, 80 mm long, has its end A, end capital A, 20 mm above HP and 30 mm in front of VP. Then the line is, uh, it is inclined at 30 degrees to HP. It is inclined at 30 degrees alt 016, 176, 30 degrees to HP and 45 degrees to VP and you type and 45 by pressing the alt key type 0176 degree symbol will go to appear to VP 40, 45 degrees to VP draw the projections of the line so we need to find out draw the projections of the line so we are going to write draw the projections of the line and find its draw the projections of the line and find its apparent length and apparent declination and find its apparent lens and apparent inclination. So this is how you will be able to write the text. Once you do that, if you want to increase the line spacing, you can just go to select that and right click and go to properties. Select this and go to properties and then come down to indented spacing, make it 1.5 and say OK. Then you just come down to view and click on fit now. So once you do that, now we will go to create the drawing. So to do that, we first we are going to draw the XY line and mark this as VP and HP. So all the projector lines should be of uh, uh, 0.05. So you just go to sketching, go to line. So first you are going to take all everything should be done at 0.05 now. I will just fix the line width of 0.05. This is mandatory that everybody, every line should be of 0.05. Create the drawing by considering the line width as 0.05. This is very, very important. So here, since I am using the HT9, the IntelliSketch will going to appear directly. Otherwise, we need to go to Tools and go to IntelliSketch. And from there, you need to take Endpoint as enabled, Intersection as enabled, and Horizontal or Vertical as enabled. And all other options of the IntelliSketch should be switched off. So this is mandatory and this should be very, very important. You have to consider that. So first, I am going to draw a horizontal line of any length. You just take that. Then, as we know here, I need to convert this uh, hard copy into soft copy. So first, I will try to draw a horizontal line of 20 mm. So I will just go to offset, take the distance as 20 mm. So from here, you draw a horizontal line which is parallel to XY in the top view, I mean in the above XY line. Similarly, you take 30 mm and you select this uh, XY line and right click it and take it down. Then you say yes. Then I need to draw this vertical line now. So to do that, I will consider a line and draw simple one vertical line and then go to trim corner between these two and trim corner between these two. Once you get this, so we have this line and this and this now. So first we are going to draw this true length line of 80 mm inclined at 30 degrees here and 80 mm and 45 degrees here. So to do that, 
I will just go to the line since it is, you have the endpoint enabled or intersection is also enabled either it will take endpoint or intersection so it will take 8 uh, endpoint you take the length of the line as 80 mm and the angle as 30 degree with respect to the horizontal in counterclockwise direction is positive so then you just draw the locus line here similarly you take the line you take endpoint and here again you take 80 angle is minus 45 because you are measuring in clockwise direction so you just take this outside now once you get this now you have the line which has been drawn from here this line is drawn and this locus line is drawn so this line is drawn and this locus line now i need to extend this towards this side so to do that i will just draw one act just one construction line and then go to extend extend to next so extend to next is required only because you have the boundary then only it will be going to have an extension otherwise it is not possible to get the extension of the line so this you just go to select as we don't require this line it is not required i will just simply delete it now the next what i need to do now i will draw a vertical line from this point till here and similarly from this point till here and trim the extra lines so to do that i will just go to line you take the end part of this line and draw a vertical line till here and then go to trim corner between these two now you got this line similarly you just go to line and take end point of this and draw a vertical line till here then you just go to trim corner between these two you are going to get this so once you get this then from here you take this as the center this as the radius you draw an arc so that it will going to cut this line here so similarly with this as center this as the radius that is ab1 as the radius you draw an arc so that it will going to cut here so to do that i will go for instead of going for a arc i will go for a circle you just go to circle take end point of this and draw to the end point of this radius then you will going to get a line so the, you are going to get the uh, circle which is cutting here so i will just go to line you take end point of this and then take the intersection point of this line and horizontal and this circle then you say entire then you just go to trim trim this extra arc on this side and also on this side then you go to select and you select this and delete this so this is how you will be able to get the front view line once you get the front view similarly i want to do it in the top view so to do that Again, I will go for the circle command and take end point of this and drag and take the end point of this circ, uh, this line. So then go to line, take end point of this and draw intersection of these two. Then similarly, you just go to trim, trim this extra line and this extra arc. So then you delete this, which is no, don't want this. How do I know that my problem is right now? I will just go to line draw from end point of this to end point of this both will going to intersect and both the end point will going to lie on the same line and that angle should be always equal to 90 degree because it is a vertical line even if there is a slight changes then your drawing is not right there is some mistake so when you commit a mistake don't try to uh, correct the mistake there because it is all or cumulative so since it is all our cumulative, just delete the entire drawing and redo it. That is how that is the best way of doing it. Now, once you do that, now what we need to do now, we need to give the line thicknesses. Why? Right? Because all the constructions what I have done here is made out of 0 0.05. Now I need to give the line width, which is basically which is important. So to do that, so first I will select the by holding the shift key front view line and the top view line both should have 0.5 so you make it 0.5 now so then the true length the xy line should be of 0.13 you take that then true length line of this and this should be equal to 0.35 you take these two then similar sorry 0.25 you take this and you take this and make it 0.25 yeah, ma'am. And as we have the length, so you can see this length is so big, so I want to cut it off. So to do that, I will just go to split, split this line till here and split this line till here 
and this xy line till here and this xy line till here and this locus line till here and this locus line till here i will split once you do that you just go to select select between these two lines and you select this between these two lines and you select between these two lines then delete everything at a stretch so now what i need to do i will direct select this line i want to make it this as dashed out line because it is the locus line similarly this line also should be of dash dot line so once you do that so the line width of these lines should be 0 0.05 and this is also 0 0.05 and all other uh, arcs and lines should be of 0 0.05 so since we have constructed by using the 0 0.05 entire drawing so we need not have to change it again so that is the advantage when you are doing it like this then what i need to do now i need to go for formatting of dimensions so to do that i will come down to iso mm modify you click on general make all the dimensions color should be of black so once you do that sorry once you black it then go to text since you have taken the solid edge font as a times new roman you select here also there also you have taken fonts as for dimension line which has been 0.1 you select this and then you say ok then apply now we go for dimensioning so to do that you just go to distance between this line and this line you will going to get 20 and again from here to here you will going to get it as 30 once you do that then i need to consider the true length in only one direction it need not be for both i will just go to by two points and you select this end point and sorry you select between this point and this point you will going to get align dimension which is 80 then we need to go for angular dimension between these two so which will be 30 degrees and angular between these two you will going to get it as 45 degree now you come down to this and make it blank and you select between these two which will going to give you which is the alpha that we will going to see how much you will going to get it later and again from here you will going to get these two which is beta now we will going to see how much you are going to get we are going to do it at a later stage now what i need to do now i need to write x y v p h p and all those things so to do that i will go down to home you click on annotation you click on here you mark this as x and you mark this as capital y and you mark this as vp and you mark this as hp then you put it as capital a in uh, bracket and this as capital b in bracket and this also as capital a in bracket and this as capital b in bracket then we need to type locus of b here and here also you type locus of b so when you want to do these problems it is always done with respect to the solution which is already there in the hard copy as like what i am doing here so we need not have to uh, whatever it is there in your drawing that is you are replicating here so here you just come down to this and you mark this as a dash and you mark this as small a and this as b1 dash so b1 we are considering because it is the first one which we are considering so this is b1 which is top view and this is cutting here which is b and when you are projecting this you are going to get it as b2 dash here and then this is going to be b dash so once you do that now what i need to do i need to move this and place it appropriately so you just take it zoom window and take it near to the screen go to sketch click on move so you take x and here you just take it out you take it vp and you take it hp here okay this is y and this is a dash and this is capital a this is top view you just i'm moving the uh, text now so this is b2 dash and this is b1 here so then you just go to view and click on fit now so similarly you take zoom area and bring it near to the screen and then go to sketch click on move you take it b dash here and this b1 dash here and this capital b here and locus of b here so once you do that so this top front view is over then i need to go to view and click on fit now similarly you come down to zoom area and you take a sketching 
go to home you take small a and uh, sorry you take this a here and small a inside whichever way you want and these are all just uh, the comfortableness of what you want to do so here i will say this is locus of b and this should be b2 home go to sketch and here you type small b2 so then just go to sketch click on move and you take it inside this so once you do that you just come down to fit now you want to write the leader now so just come down to this and click on leader and go to sketching and click on point on element you project this down okay then you project this on this inclination similarly you project this upward direction and then to this on this inclination so one should do that so here you just uh, come down to remove the point on element now one should do that now you go for home uh, click on symbol so you come down to uh, click on annotation type symbol now you take it symbol and here you type i want type alpha you just write small letter a and then you small letter b to beta then go to sketching click on move and you bring along down to this here and here this beta will be here so this is how you will be able to write the solution now what i want to do now i want to check the dimensions so ab should have 69.26 and a dash b dash should be 56.57 you should get the exact value so to do get i will just click on this you can see 56.57 is the exact value here we are getting 56.569 so if you round it off it is going to get it as 56.57 and in this case it is 69.28 what you want is also 69.28 then only your problem is right then the alpha is 54 point that is beta is 54.74 that is what the angle you are got here and here also if you select this you are going to get it as 45.00 now i need to write the text so to do that i will just come down to annotation go to times new roman so here i will write a dash b dash a dash b dash equals how much it will be 56 56.57 56.57 mm then we want to have a b which is equal to how much it is uh, of course if you want to do it like this only so what i can do is i will just uh, go to sketch so you come down to this and delete this so i will write uh, home go to annotation and here i will type 56.57 correct 56.57 mm then in this case here i will put it down i will make it for 69.26 or 28 69.28 mm and then again we want 45 degree so here you type 45 per, uh, here by 0 1 or by hold pressing the alt key you are going to type 45 degree and then here it is 54.74 you type 54.74 by holding the alt key type 0176 so you are going to get this so then you just come down to zoom area then you sketch you take it move it and place it wherever you want so you are going to get this line until here so you want to get this now so once you do that now you just uh, come down to line and uh, here 0 0.05 you just take this and you draw this now here you will going to get it this, like this so this is the uh, line which you are going to make it now so you just go to trim corner between these two once you do that then go to move and you just say copy select this and copy sorry so copy click on elements i want to copy this you take this uh, you put the ortho on so here you don't have the x displacement you make it zero so here it will going to be copied like this so here also you copy it and here also you copy this and so the result you just go to move and remove this so for, don't copy that 
so you take it now so now what i want i want to write a dash b dash and a b correct so it is a dash b dash is first in this case you go to home click on sketch so here you take a dash b dash and here you take a b then the rest of the things will fall fall in line automatically then you just go to move you move it here and you keep it and you move it here and keep it now so just go to line and draw a vertical line here and then go to trim corner between these two and then trim corner between these two then you just go to extend to next uh, extend these lines so you are going to get this so once you do that now what i want i want to move what copying this you take alpha bring it here so alpha there is also there and here also there and then you just copy this from here to this so finally you just disable this and go to home click on annotation and here you type answers okay and then go to sketch click on move and finally you are going to get this answer and this answer and this answer is exactly the same and you try to fit it just go to view and try to fit it and you just come down to home and click on this you are going to get it as 56.57 and 45 degree which is alpha and when you click on this 69.28 69.28 and 54.74 degree so this is how you will be able to uh, write the final solution by using the solid software thank you